Welcome to the Birch Bioinformatics System. My name is Brian Frostensky, and today I'm going to tell you about the latest release of Birch, version 3.90. For those new to Birch, Birch is a platform consisting of hundreds of bioinformatics tools unified through the BioLegato graphic user interface. Because BioLegato is programmable, it's easy to create new graphic interfaces for each different type of data. For example, BLNCBI allows you to retrieve protein sequences from the NCBI database using keyword searches. So here, for example, if we search for the term acidic chitinase, we will then be able to get hits that contain that sequence or those sequences. The resultant sequences pop up in a new BLNCBI window, and then we can retrieve the proteins directly from this step. Since we're retrieving proteins, of course, the proteins will pop up in BL Protein, a biolegato application specifically for working with proteins. In a typical workflow, the next step might be to do a multiple sequence alignment of the proteins we've retrieved. Output would appear in BLP Align, a biolegato application specifically for working with multiple sequence alignments. To illustrate the versatility of BioLegato and other BioLegato application, BL Reads does most of the important genomic tasks that involve sequencing reads. BL Reads brings together a very large number of applications that do quality assurance and quality control on reads and things like genome assembly and, and uh, evaluation uh, and transcriptome assembly and evaluation of the quality of transcriptome uh, reads. Together, the growing family of BioLegato applications automate most of the tasks needed to, for a user to work their way through almost any molecular biology or genomics workflow. Today, I'm pleased to announce the publication of a paper on BioLegato in BMC Bioinformatics. As well, Birch 3.90 is the first version of Birch to support the Mac OS ARM64 uh, platform or the Apple Silicon, the M1, M2, M3 series, and then we'll also say a few words about the extensive updates to the applications that are packaged along with Birch. In August 2023, Graham Alver, Abiel Roche-Lima, and myself published a paper in BMC Bioinformatics entitled BioLegato, a programmable object-oriented graphic interface. BioLegato addresses the problem that biologists are faced with a very large array of complex software tools, which each of which have steep learning curves. BioLegato addresses this problem by packaging data into objects that combine the information you're working with with the programs that make sense to work with that type of data. So for each type of data, there is a corresponding BioLegato application. BioLegato is programmable because when you launch BioLegato, it will read instructions in a small language that we've created called PCD that give you all of the menus and all of the ability to run programs on the, that might be on the system. By itself, BioLegato does almost nothing, as you can see here. If we launch the BL Protein application, BioLegato reads in the instructions for menus used for launching programs. So here, for example, would be a menu for launching BLAST using the sequence that is selected in BL Protein. Every item in the menu, whether it be for general search options, query filtering, scoring, or output options, is specified using a language called PCD. Here, for example, is just a little bit of code for the PCD uh, specification of this one line that says number of threads to use has a minimum value set uh, as in this case as one, a maximum value set to the uh, maximum number of cores on the system, and then finally a uh, default value set to another environment variable uh, BL cores default. And so the uh, menu can be changed very easily. You can copy menu uh, instructions like this and create your own BL menus for any new program you might want to add to BioLegato. 
With the publication of the paper, it was time to break out BioLegato as a separate application, which is now found on the GitHub site at uh, bforstensky slash BioLegato, and there'll be a link in the description below for this site. We are welcoming programmers who might want to collaborate or help developing BioLegato and creating either new BioLegato applications or helping to add features to the BioLegato uh, interface itself. With the addition of the Mac OS ARM64 or Apple Silicon platform, Birch now supports three platforms, Linux x86 on the Intel chip, OS X 8664 also on the Intel chip, and then uh, Apple Silicon, M1, ARM64, Apple, whatever you want to call it, on the new uh, uh, M1 series of chips. This is potentially a big problem because most bioinformatics programs don't yet have an ARM64 version. It'll take years, in fact, to migrate to this new platform. But the shorter answer is, don't worry, be happy, things just work. And now I'll show you why. All Apple Silicon machines now ship with a program called Rosetta 2 that can run the legacy x86-64 binaries on the ARM64 chip. So it's a very simple process. If we look at this example, we'll see the uh, a little bit of machine code uh, for the x86 platform translated by Rosetta into ARM64 instructions. So this translation happens each time the program is run and it actually uh, is pretty quick. It, it doesn't really result in too much of a performance hit. And so almost all of your old programs can still run on x86-60, on, rather, on the ARM uh, uh, platform. And as time goes on, of course, more and more applications will be migrated to this new platform. So the migration strategy for Birch has included several parts. First of all, wherever possible, we've recompiled the uh, Intel code to on the new ARM64 platform. And so uh, I have a list here I'm not going to show you or mention all of them, but a list of the current uh, binaries now that are native for the ARM64 platform. And then, of course, where the source code isn't available or it's hard to compile, Rosetta 2 would just run the existing Intel programs until ARM64 um, programs become available. And then finally, uh, when we consider bash scripts or other shell scripts, Python scripts, Perl scripts, those aren't affected. Those are already platform independent. And the same is true for Java programs because Java programs run in the Java virtual machine, which is available for all of the platforms. So essentially everything that we need in Birch now works as a nice integrated package on the new Apple Silicon platform. So finally, I just want to mention the extensive software updates that have occurred with uh, version 3.90. And I'm not going to run through all of them here, but this is a list of uh, bundled applications that are included as part of Birch that have been updated to newer versions. So it includes the BLAST programs, FASTA, LAST, Sequit, Primer 3, and a whole bunch of other programs that uh, have typically been part of the Birch system. As well, Birch is now fully Python 3 compliant, and so you no longer need to have Python 2 on your system to use Birch. So just looking ahead for a moment, uh, first of all, Birch will no longer support uh, several end-of-life platforms, platforms that are now no longer being supported, which would include Python 2 and Ubuntu 18 and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. So those uh, have been are being uh, no longer being supported by uh, Ubuntu or Red Hat and uh, Python, uh, respectively, and so uh, it doesn't make much sense to uh, support Perch on those platforms. Now, I should point out that Apple is s rapidly making the Intel platform obsolete. So, uh, if you have an older Mac going up through about 2019 or so into maybe 2020 that runs the Intel chip, the lifespan of those things will be limited and Apple uh, will be terminating support for the system, although they're a little cagey about exactly the timeline in which that support will 
will uh, terminate. Uh, now we are also considering uh, new platforms for Birch. One would be Linux running on the ARM64 architecture, which kind of makes sense uh, considering where Apple is going. And then also Windows subset for Linux, um, which I don't want to promise anything on, but at least we'll be experimenting with the both of these in the near future. Uh, speaking of the future, I'd like to hear from people. What new features or programs would you like to see in Birch? Please let us know with an email and we may be even interested in collaborating on some of those things. So with Birch 3.90, this is a great time to download or update your Birch system for Linux or Mac. And please remember when you uh, write up your, your uh, research to cite Birch because this is free software. The way you pay for it is by citing the authors of the programs that you use. So that's all for now and I'd like to invite people to also visit the other videos at the Birch Bioinformatics YouTube channel to see how Birch can make your research work easier.